I wonder if this is the right thing to do. I made the arrangements as you have requested. The match with that person will be live video streamed all over the world. <sighs> My unveiling. I will be exposed to the entire world. Yes, but I wonder if it's good to expose your divinity. Reveal your mission to the humble masses. That I do not mind, Colleen. When the time of the prophecy comes, when all is revealed, then the people of the world will rejoice, already knowing who I am. And it seems that time is rapidly approaching, my child. Ah, uh, yes. I trust in you, Lord Gil. When the new utopia is ushered in, the world will look at you with the same awe and appreciation that I already have. Hmm. Utopia? Uh. Indeed, Colleen. You were able to see that. Yes, there is nothing to worry about. During my revelation, the ignorant will see it the way that the ignorant wish to see. And the wise will see it the way the wise wish to see. But in the end, when the time comes, everyone will be able to achieve their hopes and dreams. Under my guiding hand, with the light of harmony. Yes. Then we shall go. That person. I wish to see him for myself. Well, well. The ancient Earthling reveals himself. Mysterious power. Not prophesized. Let me evaluate. Let me ask. What is it you see when you gaze upon me? What is it that I am seeing? There is no point discussing that. My vision and what we are looking for have always been one. Your answer is most obtuse. I'll rephrase. What do you wish for my gate of harmony? What are your plans? Good sir, we are all Earthlings, and therefore must all have one wish, and that is... to become one with the Earth. And I, who is president of the world! It is an odd feeling, but the power of this one, I know I have felt it somewhere before, but where? At last! At last he reveals himself! Girl! Damn him! How can he reveal himself in such an idiotic manner? Just to attract public attention. To do it for that reason alone is an unforgivable transgression. So, Rat, why don't you bring Gil to me? Uh, Lord Urien! Did you think I was unaware that you were sneaking around, plotting with the Emperor? I was just simply following the Oath of Allegiance to our secret society. Don't waste your breath. Just get him. Now we'll know which one of us shall rule. Hmm. <laughs> Why? Why can't I defeat you? I think you know the reason why. Everything is as the prophecy has been written. All that was, is, or will be has been destined. Then I'll destroy that accursed prophecy! Fear not. Your time as my spare will soon be at an end. 
did you just call me your spare? How dare you insult me like that? You will never fulfill your mission to be my replacement. You will never serve any purpose at all. That is because... Only I will be able to achieve the wish of our organization. The dream for the last 2,000 years. I, the Emperor Gil. Enough of this, you bastard! When I fulfill this long-awaited wish, the prophecy that binds you and I and the tenets we all follow will disappear. And then you can live any way you like. Wait! I... Look at me! Girl! Please look at me! Girl! Girl! Harmon. That is the truth of what you must see. Final round! Fight! Fight! In my crap! I shall persevere! It is God's will! Time to return to harmony! Seraphic wings! You must accept your fate! Gil wins. Aha! So this is the Japanese Sento! The bathtub is really big! This is gonna be so much fun! I won't hesitate to dive right into this tub! Oh, hold it right there! Before you get in the tub, put your long hair up. That's good manners. <sighs> now I'm totally refreshed. Yeah, Japanese Sento have such a quaint and timeless atmosphere. Now, Rashid of the Turbulent Wind will dry his body, and he'll do it just like this! Come, storm! Ooh. Hold it right there! Training in the shower! Stop right now! <sighs> you should relax!
Honda Sento Grand Reopening! Along with my sumo, I'll make this a worldwide Sento! <laughs> the main event! Your show! Round one. Fight! Honda wins. Strong. However, this strength did not come from that man. Whatever you say, without me, that man turns into an empty shell. <laughs> we shall see. But there is one thing I can assure you. I have absolutely no fear of you. You do not have the strength to crush the spirit of the king. <laughs> Stop spouting nonsense. You will realize soon enough the essence of true strength lies in me. Hmm. Ryu. Now I understand what you are fighting with. Boy? No, just a shadow. <laughs> I'm sure you know it well, old fool. Light can't exist without shadow. I am the true power, and I am what you have been longing for. Impudent. You are nothing but a soulless silhouette. Them all. Kill them all! Destroy everything! If you can't even do that, then what you call fight is just hypocrisy! I am in sight of you, old fool. However, you willingly kept that part at bay. Because you are faithful to your precious laws of heaven. <laughs> hmm. Fight them. Knock them down. Kill them. Strength has no purpose other than that. The answer is already obvious. Because I have won. <laughs> To go from being human, to beyond human, to beyond demon, to reach heaven. A mere silhouette like you would never understand. You speak of strength and winning. The true fist is not created from the strength of the body. 
nor can it be created from the Satsu. Watch and learn! Odin, Sagan Yaki! A shadow that can't be contained, and won't be tamed. Tell me, is this the path you have chosen, boy? I can smell your blood. I sense that you are here. <laughs> I am strong! That one, and that one, I defeated them all! The ones who you wanted to defeat, I have defeated! Do you accept it? I am the strongest part of you! I cannot deny you. However, I do not accept that you are me. Then what are you going to do now? You want to fight me? Defeat me? How can you even think you can do that? <laughs> because... I'm not going to fight with you. God! You're a coward! If you're so easily scared, then you are mine! I'll fight. But I'm not trying to win over you. However, I'm not trying to lose either. If you think you can corrupt me, if you think you can destroy me, just do it. But if you don't want to, then don't. Ah, you bastard! Why aren't you afraid of me? If you want to exist, then exist. If you want to leave, then leave. I will continue as I have done, and do, whatever I choose to. Uh, you think... you think you're stronger than me? But how? I am... the hot water into the noodles. Got a minute, Lucia? Maya! I mean, Mr. Hagar. You can call me Mike now, Lucia. And we need to talk. If the former mayor came here to talk to me, this can't be good. You're right about that. It's something to do with those bastards in the mat here. I think you remember the trouble those jerks caused at Mayor Travers' inauguration? Your opponents on the city council scored big points by complaining about it. That's right. But now... 
I heard a rumor that those Mad Gear scumbags are actually working with the opposition to take the mayor down. Then you mean the Mad Gear is... Maybe. I only hope it turns out to be the needless worry of an old man. You may be right, but I don't see any criminal activity around here. Maybe I should take a closer look, as a customer. You try anything funny, I'll kick your ass. Just shut it! God damn it! What the hell is wrong with everybody in this city? As soon as someone sees me, it's like they just want to start beating me up! Cool down, cop! This is a legitimate place of business! The police aren't wanted around here. Um, but boss... You know, I think it might be good if cops like Lucia stop by. Then customers might feel safer coming in here, right? Uh, yeah, that's exactly why I came by to visit your shop. <laughs> <laughs> stop laughing! So tell me, what part of my shop doesn't look safe? Well, boss, it's your... Face? Crap already! That's it! I've had it with you two jerks! <laughs> well, Abigail appears to be running a legitimate operation. So it's possible that what Haga heard was a false rumor, at least for now. But just to be safe, I better give the current mayor a little heads up about what I heard. Mr. Mayor! Oh, uh, Officer Morgan. You on patrol? How's it going? You want to talk to me about something? As the mayor, not really. But as my old friend Cody... Do you mind indulging me for a moment? <laughs> Ready to throw down? <sighs> Sorry, but I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do. <laughs> nice kick. Guess you still haven't lost your moves, Lucia. Reminds me of the good old days when we fought together against the Mad Gear. Thanks, Cody. I'm glad to see that becoming mayor hasn't made you gone all soft, either. But if you do something careless, things may get Algarete real quick. You mean the city council opposition? Yep. I heard a rumor that the Mad Gear may be trying to stick their noses into that. <laughs> so you gotta watch out. Having secret meetings in the city, late at night? With suspicious people? That kind of thing, it don't look too good. <laughs> I'll take it under advisement. Thanks a lot. Ah, uh, man, I'm beat. It was a long day, but I got a lot of work accomplished, as usual. I let this happen again! Ugh. Next time somebody wants my help, they better bring me some noodles first! Thanks. Do the crime, you do the time! Final round! Fight!
Lucia wins. Long time no see. How's the wrestling organization with Hugo going? Is everything good? Hi, Roxy. Well, it's coming along. Hey, Roxy. Where's the registration for that used car deal we made a while ago? <laughs> oh, poison! Is that you? What's up? What brings you here? <laughs> Abigail, you look like you're still in fighting shape. Let me check you out. All right, Abigail, I'll give you a passing grade. As of today, you're on tour with me. Huh? Tour with you? What? What do you mean, Poison? What happened to Hugo? Huh. That coward ran off in the middle of seeking our dream. Who cares about him? I know Abigail has more guts, so he'll take my offer. But you know, Poison, the boss has been working really hard running... Huh. Abigail doesn't have the smarts to be a boss. <laughs> What makes you think you can just show up here and talk to me like that? Poison, Abigail's working very hard to manage the shop. He can even smile at customers like a real businessman. <laughs> hey boss, show us a good sales smile. <laughs> Shop, nice customer. <sighs> I'm sorry, Abigail. I was being selfish. I'm sure you'll be a great business owner. Take care of Roxy, boss man. You got sprung, so I was nice enough to recruit you for my organization. What are you doing? Why the hell would someone like you take on the mayor's job? <laughs> it just sort of happened. About that offer to make me a star. Can you ask me again when my term ends in a few years? <clears throat> Metro City Police? I'm here because we received a report that the mayor was being attacked by a thug. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I appreciate you coming by, Officer Morgan. But there's no need to worry. We were just having a uh, conversation about the good old days. Hmm. That's what's going on. So uh, you can take things from here, Lucia. I kinda remember you. Didn't you go on tour trying to make some pro wrestling organization? You and that big guy, wasn't he named Hugo? Uh huh. It doesn't take a detective to realize that you guys had a fallen out. Hey, watch it now. I don't want any trouble. Even if I wanted to make trouble, it wouldn't help. There are some things we just can't control. 
You could be born to a rich family, or to a family living in a garbage dump. Whether you're a man or a woman, you can't choose how you're born into this world. Look at Hugo. He's a big blockhead who has no ability except to beat people up. He was born to a fate of always fighting. Yeah, I think I get what you're saying. In fact, I think Amea is kind of the same way. Still, it's not like I hate people who can't live on their skills or their smarts. <sighs> We've already talked too much. Time for me to go. Mm. Where the hell did this blockhead come from? What do you want? I don't need someone who runs away just to crawl back to me. But... The worst ones are the ones who run away from the situation and never have the guts to face it again. So if you got the guts, maybe you aren't the worst kind of blockhead I despise. You want a second chance? Fine, then! But I won't go easy on you, Hugo! Can't start the show without Star! Right? Final round! Fight! For no reason. No reason? But challenging you to a fight is the best way to test your true skill. Mm, maybe. But we're not kids anymore. And we fight every time we see each other. Is this the best use of our time? Recently, I've been thinking. Being strong or becoming stronger? I wonder. Is that the best way for me to live? Does this make me happy? <sighs> oh, Miss Sakura. Has your passion for street fighting always been that terribly minuscule? Then, would you say the same thing if he was here? Yes, indeed, I saw Mr. Ryu. Recently, during a crisis, I summoned a group of fighters from all over the world. He was his typical self. I'm sure even now he's off somewhere deep in training. If it's Ryu-san, then that's a different story. I want to see him. I want to fight him! I see. So Ryu-san is still training. That sounds like fun. I wish I could go see him. I wish, but I can't. I don't have money like Kanzuki-san. I still have to work a part-time job. How could I go jetting around the world on a whim? Excuse me, you work here? There's somebody who's going crazy over by the crane game. Oh well, back to work. Okay, I'm on my way. 
Have a good evening. Whew, I'm glad that's over. It's way easier to fight with people than to deal with customers. But is it really okay to spend the rest of my days like this? Street fighting is fun. At first, I only wanted to be stronger. But then, there were other things to think about too. I wanted to be a teacher, so I studied. I've got this part-time job now, but I need a real job. Get a real job, maybe get married eventually. And then, grow old, I guess. Oh, I'm so sorry. What are you doing here? Uh, well, Miss Kanzuki summoned me because of some emergency. It seems that her best friend is troubled about something. Um, well, it's not like that exactly. I see then. In that case... If you're troubled, Instead of talking, perhaps this might be better. Uh, yes! You've become stronger. Your skills have improved greatly. It seems that your worries have helped you mature. Yeah, a lot of time has passed since we last fought. We all have to grow up at some point. Ryo-san, can I ask you a question? No matter how strong you get, eventually you get old and die. Being alone, just seeking strength, only to eventually die, is that the right way? Do you mean I should have a disciple to carry on my skills to the next generation? Unfortunately, I'm still training, so I cannot take on a disciple. Well, having a disciple is similar, but I meant having children to create new bonds in our lives. Uh, I see. I've never thought of it. But that is another type of strength. Yeah, I feel that's one kind of strength. A bond which can connect me to my future. Thank you! Now I understand what I was looking for! And I realize this is what I wanted! I'm glad to have helped. The strength of life. I see. I think you should seek out such strength in your own way. Yeah! I I'll do that! Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to have a kid right now. I'm just seeking my path of strength. I mean, oh. What am I even talking about? Uh-oh! Pleased to meet you! Sakura wins! Huh? What do you mean it's wrong? I mean, the body was exactly in the place you told me. Huh? Gender? Wait a second. You're telling me... This thing has a gender? A woman? Can your device expansion completed? Pseudo personality asset is imported properly. Biological brain connected. Doll unit zero. Startup sequence will begin. <laughs> a little 
too late. It started up already. What? Go away! Stop it right now! Don't do anything on your own! Shut up! It doesn't matter as long as it works. Later, jerk. Well now, little piece of junk, time to wake up. Well, Jory, who is a piece of junk? When did you start speaking to me that way? Oh, crap. Seth? That's a strange reaction. Who else would it be but me? My name is Seth. I defeated that one, and became the true king. That one? <laughs> Who the hell is that one? That one. I will destroy that one and his group. He will learn a hard lesson. He is my... Is my... Is my... Is my... Never call me by a number! Oh man, this is gonna suck. Ah, my name is... My name is Seth! Ah! Crap. Reboot failed, I guess. I am... I am a king. I am not your stupid dog! Warning. Personality formation profile. Reference error. I want all the fighter's skill inside me! I am the strongest! Ah! <laughs> oh well. Another toy is broken. Not my problem. Ah! I must! I must! Yes! I must! Warning. The error level of personality integration has exceeded its threshold. I must find that one. I must find and utterly defeat him! My son! I found you, you bastard. Huh? Who are you? <laughs> I'm really grateful. At last, the time has come. It's time I defeated you by my hand. Bison! Bison? What the hell are you talking about? You created Seth, and you gave me power. Now you shall regret that mistake in hell, Bison! I'll finish you here and now, and I'll send your organization to hell together with you! What's going on? I felt something strange. Like those nightmares I had. <laughs> How's that, Bison? Now do you see? This is the power of one who you called a doll! Stop it! Damn you. I'm not that guy! Ed, get back! Huh? You bastard! Now I've found you, Bison! I'll finish you here and now, and I'll send your group to hell together with you! <laughs> How's that, Bison? My name is Seth, and I am the king! This thing... It's not seeing us. It seems like they're fighting with something else. <laughs> 
I've found you, Bison. I'll finish you here and now. Bison? Is that what... It's our shadow of psychopower. They're attracted to it. Bison! Kneel down before my power. You will become part of my data! Let's go, Ed. This one is not our enemy. Yeah, seems like it. <laughs> it's the beginning of my era! <laughs> <laughs> I am the king! <laughs> Set wins. 